Hello, hello, this is the Devil with White Wings, and welcome to episode 15 of my Dark Souls Let's Play. This is the third in a series of voiceovers that I have been recording all at the same time, and uh, probably going to be the last for this evening. I only have half a coffee left, and it's no longer hot, it's now only very, very warm. But welcome to Anor this is a nice little elevator which takes us down to another elevator. But we can't actually access the other elevator, so... Instead, we're going to be taking on an incredibly roundabout path, which is death. Instant death for a lot of people. But along the way, we shall fight a gargoyle, which you may remember as being one of the very first enemies in the game, the Bell Gargoyles. There's a couple of Anolondo variants here that we have to fight. First of all is this guy. Now, one difference between this and a... Ugh, how did that miss? One difference... Oh... No, no, no. Ah, Mr. Gun! Seriously, how are these attacks missing? Wow. Did you just see that? He hit me on the head with that, and my character just took it on the chin. That helm has a lot of poise. Now, poise is basically the stat in this game that allows you to take a hit without it knocking you out of your attack stance. Oh, not enough poise for that. Jeez, this guy might kill me. Please don't kill me. Ooh, see, his poise is about the same as mine. Ah. Ugh. Oh well. At least the bonfire is literally like you near know, half a minute away. So we'll be right back. Hmm. God damn it, coffee. Why can't I have an infinite supply of you that constantly refreshes itself and stays hot? Oh well. So it's getting a little bit late here. So you might hear some sounds in the background of people in this house preparing to go to bed. I'm sorry to you and to them about that, but you know, can't have everything. Just looking to see if I can kind of change up my gear, give myself a little bit more defense and so on. But since I've upgraded the cleric set, it actually has some pretty decent stats. You know, fairly strong resistances. Pretty good defense. What it doesn't have is poise. Mm, I don't know. My opinions of poise keep going backwards and forwards. On the one hand, it's a great way to take damage while not like getting knocked out of your attack stance and getting killed. On the other hand, I generally don't want to take damage at all. So, you know, better to go with the lighter armor that doesn't have any poise just so I can avoid damage. But yeah, different things to different people. I've seen some people using extremely heavy builds and just kicking ass in this game while I've also seen people with complete poiseless builds just slaughtering so ugh. as you can see at least I have that shield oh, come on past me you suck admittedly this version of the gargoyles has some really annoying attacks he likes to jump around a lot and ugh. Stay in the air, be unhittable. Alright, there we go. Now we'll get a hit or two in. And, uh, one more hit and you should get staggered. There we go. Now, as for the staggering of enemies, it's uh, not something anyone can really teach you. It, you just kind of learn it. Your weapon, it changes depending on your weapon, depending on your stats and so on. It's just, it happens. Now, as you can see, this guy had a tail, which I have just removed. That takes off a couple of attacks that he can do. And it gives me another gargoyle tail axe, a weapon I will never use. And he dropped his halberd, another weapon I will never use. Now, just so, for in the interest of, um, damn it, I've forgotten the word. Yeah, in the interest of full disclosure, the gargoyle's halberd is actually a pretty decent weapon that doesn't requ have much of a stat requirement. So you can use it very early on. It's possible for it to drop off the bell gargoyles. Mm. Sorry, it's just I really need to drink this coffee before it gets cold. Um, like I said, it's possible for it to drop off the bell gargoyles. Now, when you first come here, please be careful not to drop off there. That is a path that we'll be opening later. But in order to open it, we have to go through a fairly confusing pathway. I mean, seriously. You'd assume, you know, go straight forwards. Nope. you got to drop down here, walk up this buttress that appears to be just a piece of scenery, but isn't which is something which we will see again in the future. I'm just reading up this message because it is kind of handy to new players to kind of see where other people have gone and follow. 
So, we run up this buttress, and you can see that broken window over there. So, let's just pop in there. And welcome to... Well, I at least call this place the Abbey. But these are the Painting Guardians. Very, very annoying guys. The weapons that they use act like daggers, but they're actually swords. But basically, they're very, very fast. And these guys use them to great effect. A lot of dodging. Ugh. Stop dodging! Okay, finally got a hit. Ah, oh, and he dodged again. <laughs> now, there's actually an optional area in here. Uh, down below, where we can... Which is a place where we can access later. There is a painting. Now, if you approach that painting with a particular item, you can actually enter the Painted World. Now, the Painted World has a number of interesting items in it. There's nothing of particular interest to me, so I probably won't be going there on this character. But you will see the Painted World of, world of Arimus on one of my characters eventually. Since I do plan on doing a lot of Dark Souls on this channel, it's just so much fun! I mean, the game itself, without any videos whatsoever, is fun as hell. But when you add those videos... Ooh, man, I love it. <laughs> I'm talking so much gibberish. It's late, and I've had too much coffee. But that's perfectly fine. Now, as you can see, in order to actually get around the Abbey, we have to walk on these things. Oh, I hate this place so much. Now, one question that you might have is, Hey, White Wing, how come you don't use your ranged attacks while you're up here? Wouldn't you be able to take out these guys easily? Why, yes. One hit from my ranged attacks will instantly kill these guys. But, they throw those little daggers faster than I can throw my lightning spears. And unless I'm lucky and or good, there's no effective way for me to cast a lightning spear before they throw another one of those little daggers. So it is much safer, usually, to just wait for them to get close and then kill them with my mace. Now, I saw a video earlier today of a man called... Wait, who was I watching? Sorry, I watch a lot of Dark Souls videos these days. Yes, it was Epic Name Bro. He was playing through on a sorcerer, a character and a playstyle that he doesn't usually play. And yeah, I really shouldn't be over on this corner, I should get a little bit closer. But yeah, a playstyle that he doesn't usually use. And he got up here and he found that his weapon was useless at killing these guys. And he had a lot of trouble getting through here, he literally died about five times. And he is an incredibly experienced Dark Souls player, so... I should just tell you that, you know, no matter how good you are, there are some areas that are going to give you trouble. And in the end, he found that it's actually possible on a light character to just run through this area without ever bothering with any of these enemies. You can just run through, jump off, and get through without ever having to deal with them. And for someone who's had some trouble getting through here in the past, on my light characters in the future, I'm going to love doing that. <laughs> Seriously, it's going to be a lot of fun. As you can see, this is the last... Whoop! Down he goes. That was the last obstacle... To to prevent me from getting through now. I know exactly what this is going to say. Yep. Way to go, bro. Way to go. <sighs> Seriously, I haven't reviewed this footage in a long time, and I knew exactly what that was going to say, because there is always a message like that, though. Now, getting through the Abbey has brought us over to here. This was that tower that we saw when we first entered Anolondo. Now, over here is a nice little mechanism which we can use to raise or lower this platform. At the moment, it's at its highest point. But if we lower it, this happens. Ta-da! And now there's a straight-through path between us and the boss. Except that the door's locked. Oh, and we have another one of these guys. I wonder how well I do fighting this guy first time. Will I get the tail? Ooh, nice dodge, bro. Now, not a lot of um, stuff for me to talk about through the next couple of minutes of this video, so I am going to talk about some of my plans for the future. Now, this is kind of my let's play um, version of the run through Dark Souls. But after this is done, there are a couple of things I've wanted to do, and basically I want to show off different character builds, 
and I want to do a couple of different challenge type runs of Dark Souls. Now, when I talk about challenges, I mean things like, uh, you know, not being able to equip anything that comes out of a chest, or like, you know, guaranteed drops, or purchase items. So basically, I'd only be able to use weapons and armor that drop directly off enemies. Uh, basically, I call it the deprived run, because I always start as a deprived, which of course starts with nothing but a club, and naked. <laughs> Wally is playing Super Crate Box. Good for you, Wally! But, um, yeah. And as far as builds go, I mean things like, you know, uh, fairly straightforward versions of the dexterity builds and strength builds, um, showing off how you can do an intellect build sorcerer, a faith build sorcerer, which is also quite interesting. You know, various kinds of things like that. But I'd like to get the opinion of you guys. What kind of thing would you like to see from me in future? I've literally played around with just about any kind of build there is in this game, so I'm up for whatever you want. Do you want to see a super heavy tanky style build? Do you want to see my what the fuck boom sorcerer build? I would advise the what the fuck boom sorcerer build, because that's one of my favorites. Um, uh, do you want to see a challenge run, like a deprived run, or do you want to see a run where I'm never allowed to use a melee weapon? Yeah, that, I could probably use the what the fuck boom run for that, but oh god. Huh. Those guys are doing no damage to this guy. I guess that's what you get for upgrading the cleric armor. I mean, that that stuff has pretty decent resistances. Is he just going to throw spears at me all the day? Because my spears are better than your spears. Come on. Look at all these lock-on fails. Alright. Oh, now we got another one coming. Seriously. Just throwing spears night and day. I bet you that as soon as this guy engages us, he's going to come running. And we're going to have to fight two at once. Luckily, these guys are completely poiseless. So even like a... Oh, right out of nowhere. Jabs me with that shitty-ass spear. Now, I know this spear's doing a lot of damage to me. But you can actually get it to drop off these guys. And it will do all of about no damage to enemies. It does have a unique property of doing lightning damage in addition to melee damage, which is why you see I'm still taking damage even though I'm blocking. But it's, it's just not very good against enemies. Jesus Christ past me. You're making me look like shit, bro. Alright, let's see what we can do. Ah, he's still alive. You gotta kill him, man. Alright, we got one. Attack. No, don't attack twice. They get sent ages. Now, go! Finally. Seriously, past me, you need to practice more. I want to see about a month of practice from you. Then come back and show me how to do that properly. Anyway. So yeah, um, please, leave your opinion on what kind of builds you'd like to see from me after this Let's Play-ish um, Dark Souls run is finished. Because I would really like to know. Uh, I might not necessarily choose to do what you want me to do, but it will certainly inform my decision making. Now, I do remember what happens here, and I'm a little ashamed. There are two of these guys here waiting in, waiting for you. And I basically just allow them to slaughter me. Ah, seriously. Seriously, pass me. You suck. Anyway, that will be enough from me for today. In the next video, you shall see me owning the shit out of some Anor Londo. So, look forward to that. I shall see you all tomorrow, and I hope you have a good time. This will be the last video that I kind of do the audio for tonight, because it is a bit late. And I really don't want to keep everyone else in the house up, just so I can do these voice recordings. Plus, I'm starting to go a little bit mad. Anyway, have a good time, guys. I shall see you all. Bye-bye.